I am Marcus Blake here at the 2023 Dallas International Film Festival, and we are speaking with uh, the filmmakers and the composer behind Breaking the Cup. We'll let you introduce yourself. Hi, yeah, I'm Michael Flanagan, and I'm the director and producer of Breaking the Code. Hi, I'm Kirsten Soriano, and I compose the soundtrack for Breaking the Code. All right. So, this is about Texas artist Vernon Fisher. How did you discover him, and why did you? what brought you to wanting to do a project about him as an artist? Yeah, well, I discovered Vernon's art in a gallery setting. Well, actually, first in a museum setting. So, you know, the way, uh, I guess, maybe you're meant to discover art in a, in a museum or a gallery. So right. I saw one of Vernon's paintings in a museum, the Blanton Museum in Austin. Uh, the painting was called Evidence of Houdini's Return, and it was an incredible painting and uh, stuck with me for several years. And then uh, came a time uh, later on that I was uh, having an opportunity to make a film, and I decided to choose Vernon as a subject matter for my film based on... Uh, well, what was the experience like uh, doing a film about him, getting to know him and his art? Yeah, uh, it was a, an incredible experience that I, you know, uh, uh, cherish very much, and uh, you know, uh, take very seriously. You know, he's an incredible artist, and, and I'm very lucky to have been able to get to know him. And uh, it was a major responsibility that I took on, and uh, I'm still taking on. Uh, making a film about him and his work. Well, we got to talk about music because documentaries are powerful if they have a good message, but they're even more powerful with the right music. And from what I understand, this is the first time you've composed music for a film. For a feature film. I've for composed film. music okay. for shorter films and some experimental All films. Right. Well, let's past. talk about how did you, how did you decide, what kind of, how did you go about deciding what was going to be the right music for this film? So Michael had a really strong, clear vision for what sort of a journey we wanted to experience in the narrative. Sometimes the music's contextualizing his life, so when we're in Granbury, Texas, it's folk music for acoustic guitar, and when we're at a big gallery in New York, we have some jazz music, the sort of music you might hear at a swanky art gallery ex exhibition and that sort of thing. So sometimes it was contextualizing his life, and sometimes the music was really about the artwork itself. So right. we have some of the paintings that have some, star, well the painting Starry Night has stars in the paintings and that sort of thing. And so we use metal percussion like vibraphone. And also we um, not only had the vibraphone played with mallets, but we were playing it with the bow as well to create this really beautiful resonance around it. Right. So like art, there's many themes of music going on here. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So as a composer, where do you draw inspiration when it comes to music? from all sorts of places, from other music, of course, that I've enjoyed, but from visual art, painting, philosophy, poetry, and all sorts of other art forms as well. All right. Now, compared to other artists, uh, when we look at Werner, uh, Werner, Vernon Fisher, I'm having a mouthful of that name, how do you describe his art compared to, you know, you said that he's been in a gallery with Andy Warhol and other famous artists. How would you describe his art compared to other artists? That's a good question and you know there's a lot of different ways to answer that. Uh, I could you know have a two-hour conversation with you about that and only scratch the surface but you know I'll just try and you know use the specific example of Andy Warhol maybe you know so um, Andy Warhol famous for maybe the uh, Campbell soup can right, right. so you know it's just a straightforward image of a Campbell soup can um, Vernon Fisher's work is more layered and complex than just simple imagery you know so there might be a Campbell soup can but there also might be a beautiful landscape painting uh, it's okay you want me to stop for a second or no we're okay so there might be a beautiful landscape painting in there there might be a archival photograph that he's meticulously hand painted and rendered on canvas of a scene from the Vietnam War uh, you know 
Right. It is it, all sorts of layers and all sorts of juxtapositions of imagery. So, so it's very complex, and um, and um, th there's a lot going on in it, and there's a lot of ways that you can interpret it. But there's, but it's all within a certain realm of interpretation that he intends for you to experience. Now, first thing, getting to know his art, was there a particular piece that? Or is, is your favorite that inspired, helped inspire your music? So there are several pieces I found really inspirational, and I think they influence the music in a lot of ways. So there's a part where the, the paintings are sort of field paintings, and there are circular figures on there. So I created a theme called the circle theme, and it sort of spirals outward. But it also nice. has some um, resemblance to some minimalist themes in music, which a lot of people associate with field painting and minimalist paintings. See, we asked um, this question for the future composers out there. They don't know where to get started when it comes to film, and now you get to be the teacher. Uh, and sure. I know you already are one. All right, so we have time for one last question. It's our famous nerdy question that we ask all of our filmmakers. So here you go. If you could have a superpower to fight the forces of evil, what would you choose? I know, it's the one question you're not prepared for. Well, I don't know. It's coming to me kind of easy, but if I could have one superpower right now to fight the forces of evil, it would be to, uh, to have the skill and technique in painting that Vernon Fisher has. Uh, yeah, that, that, that would be my answer. <laughs> Guys, and Kirsten, how about you? Uh, of course I would want to fly. <laughs> <laughs> You're keeping it simple. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, and uh, yeah. you know, great film, and we can't wait to see what happens with it next. And good luck with composing for other film projects. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you.